Across the world, we gather. Across the world, we learn. From each other. About each other. With each other. With this quarantine, I'm not going stir crazy because I also have this little fluff ball. It's got a desk set up here with my laptop on a stand, a bit of paper on the side. <laughs> It was my first uh, experience pitching to a real client. In my mind, this is a fast track to these people being our industry leaders of the future. Having studied and getting the knowledge here, you know, and transferring it back to the community is just a way of saving people's lives, you know. Saving people's lives doesn't mean that someone is going to die and you're saving it. No, no. Somebody might be in a very hard, hard situation, but due to my knowledge, I can help him. You are now a part of a graduate network that spans across the globe. Make sure you leverage it and connect with your fellow alumni. When you're out in the industry, it doesn't matter what year you graduated. It doesn't matter how old you are. Because when it comes out to the industry and we're networking with each other, we can all have like-minded skills. When it's a no-brainer and, and, and it's in your blood and it burns and it's, um, it's what you know and it's what you love and you wake up in the morning and think about it and you, you just have to do it at, at all costs. You do it. You're unstoppable at it. I encourage you to keep persevering, don't give up and have fun along the way. I did. <laughs>
we would also like to pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. As First Nations people, we invite everyone to share, be proud and be empowered by our culture, to come together with one voice of reconciliation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alvin Lowe, and I'm the Vice Chancellor of Torrance University, Australia. On behalf of Torrance University, Australia, I declare this ceremony open to confer degrees. It is my great pleasure to be here today and welcome you to this very special occasion. Graduation ceremonies are those events where we get together as a university community and we share the success and we appreciate 
the achievements that we've reached. So this is an exciting, it's an exciting event for us. And uh, all of us, you know, during our lifetime will always remember these special moments. I extend a warm welcome to our graduates and their families and friends our academics, staff, and invited guests. Torrance University is proudly a university for the future. In other words, our focus is to ensure that we remain relevant, that we understand the perspective that will take us into the future, and that we make sure that we learn, we research, and we grow and develop what will really make an impact into that future. What drives us each and every day are our values. Our starting point is that we begin and end with people. This is what it's all about. We must enable and support people to improve their own well-being, to improve society's well-being, based on supporting people to fulfill their own aspirations. In other words, if each and every one of us can develop our own full potential, together with that, we develop the ability to make an impact around us. And that is what we do. So we begin and end with people. We are very sensitive to the idea that universities can do a lot of good. And therefore, the way in which we plan and the way in which we assess what we do is continuously focusing on what is the real impact? What is the contribution that we're making? What is the value that we add? We further believe that we must be bold. In other words, we must be willing to take that risk, to take that step that people may think is not appropriate or it's not time for yet. We also accept that we must change the conventions. In other words, we must be creative. And based on that, we have a responsibility to support each and every person to be well, and at the same time, understand that we function in a global environment. These are just words on paper until it starts to become practice through the way in which we live. And this is what we appreciate from our students, from our graduates today. The fact that you lived these values, that you translated these ideas into practice, and by doing that, the dream of Torrance University is becoming reality as well. But not only our dream, also your dreams become reality. And therefore, we are excited with you today. Torrance University prides itself on creating and providing platforms for our students to achieve their aspirations. We are here to foster your unique talents, but it's been you through your hard work, dedication, and commitment that achieved success and that really achieved the high levels of performance that we can appreciate and uh, we can also share today. Today's ceremony is not only a chance to celebrate your success and triumphs, but a moment to reflect on all the hard work, but very specifically, Remember what it took to get to this level of success. Those things that you've learned, those skills that you developed, that new awareness that you harnessed and that you grew during this period, that is what will take you also into the next level. Because today is a first step. It is a step. It's not the end. This is the beginning of the next phase. Living in a world of where lifelong learning is the accepted future practice, this is indeed a first step today. So therefore, with excitement, what you've achieved, with clear motivation and vision of where you are heading. So congratulations to each and every one of you on this very special day. At the same time, we must also acknowledge the support that has helped you along the way. All family, friends, support structures, that continuously supported, created that safe environment, that enabling environment around you, that enabled our students to continue, to learn, to do what they have to do, 
and to be able to achieve success. Thank you very much for your contribution. It is now my great pleasure to welcome the second Chancellor of Torrens University of Australia and also our guest speaker for today, Mr. Jim Varghese AM. Mr. Jim Varghese AM was formally inducted as second Chancellor of Torrens University of Australia in April 2022. He personifies so much of what Torrens is, focusing on being industry's university, advancing global citizenship, ensuring relevance in the future while staying focused on student and staff partnerships. The Chancellor brings a wealth of experience to the role and we are delighted to have his leadership and insight as we forge our path as the University of the Future. It is a pleasure to have uh, him share his story with us today and we specifically made provision for you know, a technology facilitated session so that all our communities around the country will have the opportunity to hear his message. Thank you. May I also please bear my respects to the traditional custodians of land, the Gadigal people, and pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. I do so with an open heart and with a sense that our future will be defined through reconciliation, collaboration, partnership, and genuine acknowledgement. I'm inspired to observe that Torrens University was founded with the vision to be Australia's international university, and that very few Australians better embody this ethos of Torrens' vision to connect the world for good. I believe education is a fundamental human right, and I also believe that innovation is critical to ensure greater access to education. Indeed, we are here this afternoon to connect the world for good. And as we do, we bind, we strengthen connectors between industry, our students, our alumni, the world of research, business corporations, and social enterprise. These strategic differentiators are right at the core of Torrens University and Think Group centerpiece promise, delivering on student happiness. And look at these happy students here today. And we do this and set ourselves apart by focusing on three areas close to the journey and me. Designing the future of learning so students are empowered and equipped to define their path. This way, we enable our graduates to forge their futures as change makers in their lives, in society. Ensuring everything we do is connected to industry, especially our curriculum and our students. Expanding access to quality education globally in a manner which enables our students to become responsible global citizens. Indeed, if we are to maximize technology to ensure a globally orientated university of the future, with acute relevance to industry, and if we're going to fully optimize technology to ensure a university for the future, Australia needs institutions like Torrens University and the Think Group to flourish. It is a global movement of which I'm very proud to be a part of. I'm proud Torrens is the only investor-funded university in Australia. I'm proud it's Australia's fastest growing university and I'm also proud with strategic ed education, we're connected to the high quality institutions globally. What I can see is Torrens University has focused truly on what matters, our values and our vision. Our vision to connect the world for good is underpinned by a belief that student happiness should be the ultimate measure of success. Success in our partnerships with the industry and graduates getting the jobs they love success in ensuring the education without borders in everything we do. Success is truly a university for the future. And this is an incredible moment in time. With the war in Ukraine, the third year of a global pandemic, and extreme disruption across industries and supply chains, there has never been a more important time connecting the world for good. 
We stand at the precipice in a moment where we either take definitive action on climate change or we sit idly by. We are part of a generation in time that if we put our collective focus into action, we could eradicate global poverty and end hunger. We're also living at a time when the starkness of the gap between those who have access to education and those who don't has never felt so great. So as Chancellor, I have an obligation to ensure this institution plays its part to make education more accessible and more affordable for more people globally, to ensure Australia and I higher education better collaborates and is not insular and inward focused, but inwards genuinely we're holding each other up as institutions to meet this moment in time. We need higher education to succeed triumphantly and to impact globally. And I say to our graduates here gathered today, to our staff, to our board, to our partners, we stand shoulder to shoulder now to connect the world for good. So let me put it in some very expressive phrases. Be bold, be creative, be good, be global, be well, begin and end with people. It is a privilege to be on this journey. My sincere thank thanks. Our appreciation to our Chancellor for his words this evening. And uh, we will now be proceeding to the next part of the ceremony, which recognizes your academic achievements. I now call upon the Honorable Greg Crafter, AO Board Member of Torrance University Australia, to confer the awards. Chancellor. Graduates, firstly, just let me explain uh, this part of our ceremony today. Firstly, I'm authorised on behalf of the governing board of Torrens University Australia to certify that you are suitably qualified to receive the degrees and other awards that you're going to receive today. I will then ask you to stand and I will then confer upon you, each of you, those degrees and awards that you have so richly deserved. You then you may return to your seats. So firstly, um, the certification. On behalf of the governing board of Torrens University Australia, I certify that the candidates present here today and those listed as in absentia have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for the award of their degrees, diplomas and certificates and are entitled to be admitted to the rank, privileges and responsibilities of those awards. Now could I invite you um, to please stand for the vesting. Thank you. Now by virtue of the authority vested in me by the governing board of Torrens University Australia and Think Education, I confer the degrees, diplomas and certificates for which you and those listed as in absentia, have, have so qualified. You may now be seated. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Claire Littleton, Senior Public Health Lecturer, Research Fellow, and Acting, Acting Deputy Director of the Centre for Sustainable Development at Torrens University, Australia, to present the graduates. On behalf of Torrens University Australia Design Faculty, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards. Diploma of Graphic Design, Holly Rowe. <clears throat> Jessica Marie Saunders.
Kayla Jane Johnson. Diploma of Interior Design and Decoration, Zoe Lee Hannaford. <laughs> Bachelor of Communication Design, Marie Claire Hunt. Valentino Marin Sanchez. <laughs> Bachelor of Media Design, Caitlin Jones. <laughs> Dakota Tress Trail. Isaiah O'Reilly Mango. Jada Adelton. Zachary Roby. Master of Software Engineering, Artificial Intelligence Advanced, Harmanjeet Kaur Sandhu. <laughs> Jaspreet Kaur Gill. <laughs> Master of Software Engineering, Cloud Computing Advanced, Abhishek Shah. <laughs> Shukmanjeet Kaur. <laughs> Vishal Katraj. On behalf of Torrens University Australia Education Faculty, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards. Graduate Certificate in Learning and Teaching, Belinda Leslie Giordano. <laughs> Graduate Certific Certificate of Education, Special Education, Ruth Taylor Jaxa. Master of Education, Reading and Literacy, Lynette Manyara Mutisa. <laughs> Master of Education, Special Education Advanced, Babita Gatam. Gurinder Kaur Sandhu. <clears throat> On behalf of Think Education Health Faculty, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards. Diploma of Nursing, Ayushi Thapa. Ajay Akama. Ajmer Singh. A 
Alicia Shweta. Amandeep Sandhu. Benita Bussell. Gurinder Singh Sandhu. Jagathishvari Philip. Jagjeet Singh Bra. Jane Francesca Clet de Leon. Karuna Marajan. Manpreet Kaur. Malika Hashur Wayaf. Muhammad Asim. Neelam Gurung Gal. Niha Antal. Parminda Kaur Kaley. Pascaline Atta. <coughs> Pratima Thapa. Rananzu K.C. Siegel. Rihanna Amy York. Rapinda Kaur. Rapinda Kaur Sadhu. Salika Yadagoti Arachiki. Udam Singer. Verpal Kaur. Vidi Dasadia <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Social Science Counseling, Lauren Gray.
On behalf of Torrens University Australia Health Faculty, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards. Diploma of Applied Social Science, Anna Altamon. <laughs> Diploma of Counselling and Communication Skills, George Faumi. Diploma of Health Science, Anita Sari Martin. <laughs> Kalissa Sophie Willis. <laughs> Letitia Ann Monmany. Rebecca Jane Chamberlain. <clears throat> Bachelor of Applied Public Health, Carolina Fernandez Bonham. <clears throat> Grace Wanjiku Kamu. <clears throat> Liki Kudai. <clears throat> Tiet Nahi Monika Wen. <clears throat> Bachelor of Applied Social Science, Community Services. Aliyima Moses Odunaro. Delvin Konya. <laughs> Harkarat Kaur. <laughs> Jasmine Kaur. Kerry Kipiego. <laughs> Maxwell Kibet Kiru. <laughs> Odinaka Michael Iwa Yanwu. Tawanda Malvin Matty May. <laughs> Bachelor of Nutrition, Ellie Victoria Falkenberg. Master of Public Health, Nimbesi Gove. <clears throat> Sir
Supinder Kaur. Master of Public Health Advanced, Akriti Nepal. <laughs> Amanpreet Kaur. <laughs> Bina Gamiri. Rajesh Shukala. <laughs> Flavia Okagura. Gladys Muguri Kuria Hiralbin Patel Jagdeep Kaur Kosha. <laughs> Lovepreet Kaur. <laughs> Mandeep Kaur. Muhammad Hamid <laughs> Mumtaz Unisa Shireen <laughs> Narinda Kaur Paula Korea <laughs> Parbati Gurung <laughs> Palmjit Kaur Ranjit Lokan <clears throat> Rosie Shadari <clears throat> Ruchika Sambada Sisat Sarada Tamang Sarita Nupan Sheikh Murshed <laughs> Simon Preet Kaur <laughs> 
Yerola Srinivas Nikita. Suda Subido Akara. Suman Bayador Shinal. Susie George. Verinda Kaur. Victor Shigozi Liabozi. Graduate Certificate in Learning and Teaching, Jackie Casey. <laughs> Doctoral research solves the most challenging problems of our times and is critical to the well-being of society and the planet we live on. Research drives advancement and development from jobs and technology to economic, economics and health. It informs understanding of ourselves as individuals, as communities, as countries, and as part of the global community. Each of our doctoral graduate, graduates has produced a thesis that demonstrates original thought and academic rigor while also making a significant contribution to existing knowledge. Your achievement is an incredible reflection of your commitment, your drive, and your passion in the field of which your thesis is based. Congratulations to you from all of us at Torrens University, and we wish you every success for your future. I call upon Professor Justin Bilby from Torrens University to present the higher degree by research graduate. Thank you, Claire. To Heather Allison, who was supervised by myself, Dr. Melinda Stanners and Dr. Samantha Badams. Dr. Allison's study focused on understanding how health professionals apply new law or policy in South Australian hospitals. The focus was the legislation of the Advanced Care Directives Act of 2013, legislation that aimed to support individuals at end of life in our community. A qualitative approach using case studies found variations, similarities and health professional perspectives of policy at the same point of time across South Australia. The emergent theory that she grow, developed and grew, titled People Driving Health Policy, is grounded in five themes. South Australian health, central coordination and leadership of policy. South Australian's governance responsibility for policy mechanisms local health network's capacity for policy implementation, the local health network and that communication methods, and finally, local health network's accountability for policy applications. Dr. Allison's important research adds to the research literature on health policy implementation. Recommendations that she produced, she delivered and developed are aimed at policymakers, local health network governments, those responsible for health system policy implementation and evaluation in South Australian hospitals. I present to you Dr. Allison. Heather Allison. Congratulations to all our graduates and to those graduating in absentee today. May I please ask family, friends and invited guests to stand and join me to congratulate our graduates.
Thank you. Please be seated. To our graduates, do not forget the adage, it takes a village, and many people have supported you. It is important to recognise that a part of the reason you are graduating today is because of the love, support and teaching and mentoring provided to you. Parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, friends, husbands, partners, wives, children, neighbours and teachers. We only succeed through the support of others. And for this reason, graduates, I ask you to now applaud those who have helped you along this journey. The audience here today, the audience watching online, but also acknowledge those who have come before you to help you achieve this extraordinary milestone. Please stand and thank each and every person. <laughs> Please be seated. Thank you. I now welcome back Professor Alvain Lau, Vice Chancellor of Torrens University. It is now my great pleasure to take us into a very special moment today, awarding the title of Emeritus Professor to the founding Vice Chancellor of Torrens University, Professor Justin Bilby. Emeritus Professor is the honor award conferred on professors in recognition of outstanding and distinguished academic service to the university and <clears throat> the broader university and the community they are serving. Emeritus professors are held in high regard in their area of specialization in Australia and abroad. They have demonstrated internationally recognized research contributions or uh, have been senior members of the university providing direct service to the university and its broader community as stated. I now welcome back the Honorable Greg Crafter, AO board member of Torrens University of Australia to present the citation. Professor Justin Bibley has made outstanding contributions to Torrens University as Vice-Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research, and to the Australian Society as an academic GP. The conferring of the title of Emeritus Professor is in recognition of Professor Bilby's exp expertise and impact on primary care and aged care research, health service evaluation, general practice intervention studies. Professor Justin Bilby was appointed as the to the role of Vice-Chancellor of Torrens University of Australia in January 2015 and made significant contributions in overseeing and steering the academic and research development of the university, including supervising the establishment of global educational and research partnerships in the United States, India, Malaysia and Thailand. As a practicing general practitioner, the translation of research findings into policy and clinical practice is critical to Professor Bilby's nationally and international contribution. Professor Bilby is a member of numerous boards and committees, applying his extensive experience to both guide and nurture and is active in both the community and professional fraternity. Professor Bilby's work will undoubtedly reverberate through dialogue and debate in areas such as positive aging, clinical governance of all facets of the Australian health system, as well as increased emphasis on co-design of solutions. Please join me in congratulating Emeritus Professor Justin Bilby. Just to say, um, what a pleasure. Uh, Alvin Lowe, the Vice-Chancellor, Greg Carter, colleagues and friends, it's been an extraordinary pleasure journey with Torrance, and thank you very much for the award. It gets very emotional when you actually come and see the students graduate today and enjoy the absolute pleasure of watching the families and friends with the effort that's gone into this magnificent university. Thank you all very, mu very much. Good luck with your careers. Good luck with your family interacting tonight. Enjoy yourselves very much. And to the academic colleagues across Australia and here today, thank you all very much.
I welcome back the Honourable Greg Crafter AO, board member of Torrens University, to present the Torrens University Awards. Today we are acknowledging students who have gone above and beyond in their work. The excellent award recognises graduates that have excelled in their academic and industry achievements and have been selected from students eligible to graduate from the design, education and health faculties at the Adelaide graduation ceremony. Congratulations to Maria Claire Hunt, Bachelor of Com Communication Design, winner of the Design Excellence Award undergraduate. I invite Maria to join the Honourable Greg Crafter AO on stage. Maria has shown innovation and excellence in the way she has approached her studies in the Bachelor of Communication Design program, with a range of distinction and high distinction results. It came as no surprise to see Maria's successful transition to industry, securing a graduate design role after interning with the Department of Education as part of her final year work, Integrated Learning Subject. Congratulations, Maria. Congratulations to Abhishek Shah, Master of Software Engineering, Cloud Computing Advanced, winner of the Design Excellent Award Postgraduate. I invite Abhishek to join the Honourable Greg Crafter AO on stage. Abhishek is a hard-working, dedicated student who has applied themselves diligently throughout their studies, which is reflected in these outstanding ac academic results. Abhishek participated enthusiastically in classes and in group discussions and interacted with the teaching staff and peers with respect and integrity. Abhishek has displayed all the qualities needed to be successful in his chosen field. Congratulations, Abhishek. I would also like to extend our congratulations today to Natalie Eileen Field, Diploma of Nursing and winner of the Health Excellent Award Vocational, Belki Condrea Simoas, Master of Public Health Advanced, winner of the Health Excellent Award Postgraduate. Neither of these students could attend today, but please join me in congratulating them as our award winners. I now welcome Brijesh Kumar Shukal to deliver the graduate address. Hello everyone and distinguished guests, uh, academic staff, alumni, family, friends and all my fellow graduates. Uh, good evening and welcome all on this precious and glorifying day of our life. I am Dr. Bridget Sukla and many of you may know me with my Torrance nickname BJ. Thanks to Hannah for giving me this name. And I would like to share my previous experience uh, which leads me to do study in public health sector. Back in India, I was working in cardiac surgical team for more than eight years. And I noticed there's many diseases uh, in young people and they are suffering from the cardiac diseases. One of the, our patients who died at the age of 28 years, and it's really very young age, uh, due to the entry-level myocardial infarction. And I realized that there are many diseases which can be prevented before they get worse, and this can be done at the community level. So if you work to promote a good health lifestyle in a community, then there is a chance to prevent the disease before they emerge into human body. So I believe that prevention is better than cure. 
So this philosophy encouraged me to do the Master of Public Health and work with the community for the better health and healthy living. I would like to say something about Torrance University. When very first time I arrived in the Adelaide and came to the university, I was thinking the, about the size of the uh, Torrance University and like thinking the other big universities and comparing with the Torrance University in my mind. But trust me guys, the level of education and support provided during my study period, it was beyond my imagination. And the level of quality I got during my study exceeded my uh, expectations. Many of my friends asked me, why did you choose Torrance? You have to choose well-ranked university. At that time, I, have, I had no words to argue, but today I can say proudly, like I can proudly say that I made a right decision, which I will never regret in my life. Actually, I will be forever grateful and in debt to this amazing academics. At Torrance University, you will find only 25 to 30 students in your class. So each and every staff member knows you by your name and they provide personal attention to your progress and guide you to take each and every little step towards your fulfilling your goal. I would like to show my gratitude towards Walt Torrance staff, my fa uh, faculties, all my colleagues who helped me during my study. And I would like to say thanks to all the lecturers from bottom of my heart, but special thanks to Dr. H. Venanukul, uh, Dr. Brigitte Mahonai, and Dr. Claire Littleton. Their support changed my life. I literally considered myself very lucky to have you all during my study. Actually, I am an old school guy. I finished my medicine back in 2008, and after so long gap of study, I started Master of Public Health here. And it was so difficult for me to understand this uh, assessment system and plagiarism and everything. But the support and guidance provided by them led me to finish my degree with flying colors. I will recommend everyone in my circle to study in Torrance University to get uh, quali uh, quality education. I'll be very grateful to all of you for my whole life for giving me this amazing learning experience which will help me to shape my future. Back in my community, we already started a campaign with the name of Ek Muthi Chawal and in which we provided guidance for healthy, healthy eating habits, active lifestyle and provided foods for the needy people. At the end, I would like to congratulate all the graduates today and wish them good luck and success for the future endeavors. And once again, I would like to thank all the lecturers, support staff who helped me during my study period. Thank you. Thank you very much for your graduate address. We appreciate your words and especially your reflection on your experience during your study period. A few last words in conclusion. Torrance University Australia was founded in 2013 and is built upon a purpose-driven and passionate approach to teaching. We have created courses and student services that are designed to place passionate people in careers they love. And we hope this is really what your experience will be, that you will get to that place where you really aspire to and that you will experience that sense of joy and fulfillment as a result of the hard work that you have done. We are extraordinarily proud of you and of your achievement. And we do believe that as you go out of here today, you get into the world of work, you move across the world, that we would like to see that you continue to retain your relationship with Torrance University. Continue to retain your partnership with your fellow students, your fellow graduates, and also with the alumni of the institution at large. That is a very important part of your professional network as you get and you grow in your career. Special thank you to all our academic and invited guests. We look forward to celebrate with you outside, so as we go out, please spend some time and engage a bit further by virtue of the authority vested in me then by the governing board of Torrance University Australia I close this ceremony with the request that you please remain standing to allow the academic procession to leave the, the hall then the graduates and after that you know our guests thank you very much